right, welcome to this killer video and article, <laughs> if I must say so myself. I know you're stressed. I know you're burned out. I know you're frazzled. Why do I know this? Because I have been in your shoes. I understand what it feels like to feel totally overwhelmed by the practice of law. Hey, my name is Adam Ouellette. I practiced for 20 plus years until my wife and I decided to move to North Carolina and I really didn't want to take the North Carolina bar. We practiced down in Florida for many, many years and I decided it was time for me to take everything I had learned over 20 plus years and share it with other attorneys, not just because I didn't want to take the bar, but I had satiated practicing law. I had done everything I wanted to do. I made a really good living. I stressed myself out to the point where I got sick. I didn't really want to do that, but I learned so much from being so stressed out and getting sick and having adrenal exhaustion and migraine headaches and you know getting flus and colds three, four, five times a year. It was kind of scary, touch and go there for a while. And the adrenal exhaustion caused me so many issues but because I had done that to myself, and you're going to realize that stress is an inside job. We do it to ourselves. I learned so much. I was looking for the answers to the problems that I had created in my life because I did this to myself. And in those problems contained these amazing solutions. So what I like to call myself is a researcher. I am a student of life, and I was always looking for new books and coaches and webinars that I could jump on so that I could figure out how to be a better person, how to be a better attorney, and most of all, how to be a better business person that wasn't stressed and that lived from a place of present moment. Live from a place of like what I like to call the quiet center, which is what I teach. I wanna help you to take a look at stress differently. And in this article, we're gonna look at stress under a microscope and we're gonna figure out how to help you to cut your stress leaps and bounds. So 23 years, I did civil litigation and a lot of transactional work. It was probably around 70, 30. Civ civil litigation was about 30%. I did a lot of real estate law. I did a lot of banking law. I represented banks in their real estate closings. I did commercial real estate, residential real estate and the like. I was crazy stressed. I was working 12 hour days, six days a week for many, many years. I made partner very quickly with a solo practitioner that I went to work for right out of law school, but at what cost, right? I was pushing myself hard. The cost was my health. And I discussed that with you a little bit before. My adrenals, headaches, colds, and flu, migraines, you know, I ran myself down to the point where the adrenal exhaustion created thyroid issues which then caused me to have irregular heartbeats. The thyroid got infected um, and it was pumping out cortisol and, and all kinds of chemicals that caused my heart to go out of rhythm. So one of the reasons I'm doing this video, the articles, the stressless course, is because I don't want you to hit the wall like I did. I began to ask, you know what, there's gotta be a better way to this. There's got to be a different way of looking at life, practicing law, looking at how to be balanced in my life. I know that's a cliche, you know, uh, having a, a work-life balance, but there's ways to do it. And I'm going to teach you in this video how to start the process of having a balanced life. So I found some solutions. I found a lot of solutions and I implemented some of the best ones that I found. Let me share with you some of the stuff I learned. So let's talk briefly about why we're so stressed and filled with anxiety. As I alluded to before, stress is an inside job. You probably have never heard that. You think stress comes from the outside. It's an inside job. And stress and anxiety are tied together. They're very, very similar. And I want to do a quick explanation of what stress is and what anxiety is and show you how they are tied together. So the definition in Merriam-Webster's dictionary online, the essential definition as they call it, is uh, stress is a state of mental tension and worry caused by problems in your life, work, etc. So mental tension and to a certain extent worry caused by the problems that you have in your life. Anxiety 
is fear or nervousness about what might happen. So when we have anxiety, we're afraid of the future. What's going to happen? I don't know. We're nervous about it. And then stress takes into account anxiety because it's a state of mental tension and worry caused by the actual problems that are occurring in your life. So anxiety is what's going to happen in the future. I'm not sure. I'm uncertain. I want certainty. I want control, which is part of why we have stress because we try to control everything in our life. And one of the things I realized early on studying these things and implementing some of the solutions is that life is all about uncertainty. A lot of us become lawyers because we want to try to control our lives. And we find that being in the legal practice, the legal field, is all about uncertainty. <laughs> What's that opposing counsel going to do next? Oh, you know, I know. I know what it feels like. So lawyers, straight, crazy stress levels, right? We live in a constant fight or flight. Think about it. We live in a constant fight or flight like a lion's chasing us or someone's got a gun pointed to our head. That's why we have this anxiety about, oh my God, what's going to happen next? I want to teach you more about this constant fight or flight in my free video series. And I'm going to allude to this a couple times because I think every lawyer needs to know how to have less stress in their lives. This is an integral part of what should be taught to us in law school. So sign up for that free video series. Below this video, you're going to find a, a little section that you can sign up. And the video series is on one page. It's called a resource page. And I'm giving it to you for free because I want you to start the process of understanding all of this and understanding that you have this level of anxiety underneath that is the fight or flight. We've got lots of stress and pressure. We deal in high stakes stuff, right? A lot of us are very afraid of malpractice because it, it looms under every single thing we do. Oh my God, am I going to screw this up? And, and I'll tell you, let's be brutally honest about the practice of law. I don't care if you've gone to the extent of becoming board certified. Most of us fly by the seat of our pants in the practice of law because there's so many changes that happen on a daily basis in what we do. And you can't keep up with it. I think this is why doctors have such high anxiety and stress levels too, because every day there's things coming out that change how patients should be treated, medications, and most doctors don't have the time, and lawyers don't either, to keep up with the amount of information that is coming out every day that changes things. Case law that comes out that changes things in our niche. So, man... There's lots of pressure and stress because of that alone. There's too many of us. There is so much competition in the law. And I write about this in my book called Raising the Bar. First three chapters free. You want to hear more about me on a soapbox discussing why the legal profession is in such bad shape and what you can do to raise yourself out of these challenges? It is part of stressing less is reading my book, right? If you ever join me in the Stress Less course, which I think you should, it's called Stress Less Plus, you're going to get the book for free, and it's an integral part of the teachings because it's all interconnected. We've got too much work, and we don't have enough time to do it all. And part of the challenge is we're really disorganized, even though we think we're not. I've heard this time and time again from my consulting clients that are attorneys. They say, you know, I'm pretty organized. And I'm like, nah, you're not. I want to teach you how to get uber organized so that you can get so much more done in so less time. You just can't show up at the office and start to deal with all the pressing problems that are screaming at you and think you're organized. That's how we deal with life. We use our email inboxes as our to-do list. That, that is so disorganized, I can't even begin to tell you. I talk a lot more about that in the free video series and the resource page as well. The law is a business. This is one of the reasons why we're so stressed out. It is a business. It's not a profession anymore. For the last 30, 40 years, the law is a business. And as a result, since we're not a profession, there is so much more pressure to make money. Now, if you're an associate in a big law firm, you got a lot of pressure to bill. And when I was a solo and I had uh, my law partner and then my wife became my law partner after we split from that partner, there's, there's a lot of pressure to bring in business and then do the business that comes in. It's about making money nowadays, sadly. 
There's lots of unhappy lawyers. I want to talk to the unhappy lawyers in the bunch right now. Some of us, I was one of them, didn't like what I did all day long. I didn't like the practice of law. Now, what I really enjoyed was the business aspects. I liked bringing in business. I liked rainmaking. I liked going out and networking and shaking hands and bringing the business in. I didn't like the work of being a lawyer. Now, I was okay at it. I was decent at it, and I did it. Uh, I was really good at real estate closings, which is one of the niches that we were in. But man, after thousands of real estate closings, I was like, how many times can I explain a note and mortgage and not want to sweat my wrists, right? I mean, it's just so sick uh, that lots of us don't like what we do all day long. And if you don't like what you do, how much of your day do you really enjoy what you're doing? And I will say the demarcation line is around the 70%. If you don't like what you do 70% or more, you need to look at leaving the law. It's not your life purpose. It's not what you're good at. It's, the reason is lots of us chose law school without much research, without much thought. And as a result, we're in a profession that really isn't aligned with our unique genius. As my business partner, Casey Berman, likes to say, he started a company called Leave Law Behind. And I'm a part of that because I really want to help lawyers that do not like what they do all day long find happiness outside of the law. So if you think this might be something that you want to look at, link below. Leave Law Behind. It's one of the sister companies to Esquire Academy. Explore your options. But if you do like the work you do all day long, let's talk about some solutions. Let's talk about solutions to all this stress. You hear a lot about attorney stress management or stress management in general. This is a, a term of art out there that's been out you know, for 30, 40 years, stress management. How do you manage stress? And I got news for you. Managing stress is dealing with stress after it has occurred. And I want to help you deal with stress before you allow it to occur. And it is all about your mindset. So we do stress ourselves. It's an inside job. And I do explain a lot more about this in the resource page. So sign up for that. We don't have time for that in this article. This is just the basics of the basics. But let's talk about the power of the heart. The, did you know that the heart has up to 40,000 neural cells, neural, i.e. brain cells in the heart? The heart has its own consciousness. It's got its own energy center. And when you learn how to connect your heart and brain together, that an hour of this heart math training is included in the Stress Less Plus course because it is, it's that important to helping you look at stress differently. But when you connect your heart and your brain, it is extreme power, but it's a calm power, right? You get coherent, which means you're syncing up your heart and your mind, and you're more resilient, which means you have more energy. Huge resource page again. All right, heart math, science, peer-reviewed work that has such, such significance in the world. Millions of people have been trained in heart math. Really, nobody's doing it for lawyers. I'm here to tell you, I'm bringing it to lawyers in big ways. I got such massive benefits from the stress reduction techniques, which is actually a way of, of calming and centering yourself before you have any stress that it literally changed my life. So I want to introduce you, introduce you to it in that resource page. Meditation. How many books did I read on meditation? I'm a meditation master. I do it every day. I know how to do it very well. I'm going to give you a simple meditation to do in this video right now. So breath work is one of the meditations that I teach and that I've learned over the years. It's just dealing with your breath, working with your breath. And a very simple meditation is this. You want to pause the video after I'm done? Do it. Meditation is very profound because it slows down the mind to a place that gives your mind and body a break. Right? I'm not going to get into too much depth around meditation and the benefits of it, but you should be meditating every day. And for a long time before I had figured out how to really stress less, I was meditating an hour a day because I was dealing with stress after the fact. I was trying to manage stress. So very simple meditation. Follow your breath in and out. Put all of your focus, all of your attention, attention on your breath and your mind will wander, right? It will. And if it wanders, bring it back, bring your attention back to the breath and just begin to 
follow the breath in and out. Very simple, very easy meditation. It will begin to calm your mind and body. I want to help you quiet your raucous mind because that's part of the challenge we've got is the mind goes on and on and on over and over and over like a hamster in a wheel. And if you can start to slow the mind down with that very simple meditation, quieting the mind some, you get to a point where it becomes habitual. There's lots of apps you can find that will teach you meditation. If you go on Netflix, you can learn some more about meditation. Headspace, it's on Netflix. It's an app. I've used it just to see how it was. It's actually very good. Most people have Netflix. Go on Netflix and check out Headspace. It's good stuff. There's lots of other apps. So check them out. See what's out there for you. Too much work, right? We talked a little bit about this before. You're busy, but the larger issue is you're disorganized. Let me teach you how to get more done in less time because, hey, I've been there. I've done it. I want to share with you in that resource page the most impactful book on productivity I've ever read, and that's on the resource page. So check that out and get signed up for it. Mindfulness, you know, present moment. I would rather call it present moment because it really has nothing to do with the mind. It's about having the ability to direct your attention. That's why I started with meditation in this video and in this article. What I like to teach is present moment. How to be more aware of the present moment because it's really all we've got. And when you live more in this moment without resisting what's happening, without being worried about the past, without being worried about the future, without being concerned about what's going to happen next and letting go of the anxiety, you realize this moment's all we've got. The past is gone, never to return, and the future never gets here. So the present moment's all we've got. So if you can learn more about being present, please do it. Beliefs. This is huge. I'm going to give you a very brief outline of how beliefs impact your stress levels and your life and everything. Ultimately, your beliefs create everything in your world. Everything in your life is created by beliefs. And get this, you're not living your own life. You're living a combination of your parents' lives. Your beliefs are not your own. That's why I said this is huge. When you start to understand that you are living someone else's life, you realize, maybe I'll look at what I believe. Because what you believe, you get. right? If you think life is hard, if you think being a lawyer is stressful, guess what? Your life becomes hard and you have a shitload of stress. I don't want you to have that kind of life anymore. I want you to live from a place of authentic you, right? Next, letting go of the need to control everything. Talked about that a little bit before. This is huge, right? We try to control everything in our lives. And as a result, we keep too much work. I like to say, you know, delegating was very difficult for me. And I teach this in some of my courses, giving up control of what I worked on because I thought I was the best person to be doing all of it. And I realized I didn't like some of it. And if I don't like something, I'm probably not going to be very good at it. And so I took a look at what I was working on and I started to realize, let me delegate quite a bit of this <laughs> so that someone could do it better than I. We think we're better than everybody else, but we're not. Someone else could do a whole lot better job on a lot of the stuff we do. So some simple stuff to remember, basics. You probably know these things already, but I want to remind you of them. Take some time every day just for you. Get some exercise. Get out and run, walk, hike. Get some fresh air. Get outside. Read a good book. Do something that you enjoy. Hobbies. Spend some time with loved ones. Take a sauna, bath, swim. Get in the ocean. Water can be very, very healing. And one of the things I talk about in lots of my videos is just breathe. We don't breathe deeply enough. We have a severe lack of oxygen in the body. When you get stressed and tension arises and you have anxiety, you breathe shallowly. So I like to say just friggin' breathe. Full lung breaths are so important. If you couple this technique, tip, just full lung breathing. Start at the base of your lungs. Pull in as much air as you can. Slowly, slowly breathe out. And you use that in meditation. 
it starts to become more habitual. You'll breathe more deeply normally and you'll feel better. So if you're tired, breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. So calming techniques. I keep saying it, you know, stress less video. It's, these are there for you. I want you to have these free videos. Physical health, right? You need to focus on your physical health. Talked about exercise already, but water consumption. We're very, very dehydrated, not just lawyers, but people in general. We eat too much junk food, we drink soda, we eat shit. Drink more water. Figure out how much water is what you need for your body and drink more of it. Eat better foods. Eat more raw foods, eat more fr fruits and vegetables. We know all of this. I'm reminding you because if your body isn't getting what it needs, water, oxygen, and good food, it runs down. It runs down. Okay, and that only adds to your stress level. If you don't feel good, you're getting sick all the time. Whew, not a good combination. I was able to cut my stress, stress levels by 90 plus percent. If I could help you figure out your stress and cut your stress level by 50%, man, I will have done an amazing job. But what if you could cut your stress down by 50% or more? What if you could do that? What would your life be like? How would your life open up? Question for you, what is most important to you in your life right now? I guarantee you, it's not working. <laughs> uh, and if it is, email me. I know there's a few people out there that love to work. They don't care about anything else. But if you're here and you're stressed and you're frazzled, you don't have work at the top of your list. You won't be here looking at this stuff if you love working. Right? So when you join me in the Stress Less Plus course, I want you to pay close attention to the Wheel of Life exercise because that section is all about life balance and taking a look at where you're spending your time and where you want to spend your time. So burnout, lawyer burnout, is a result of prolonged exposure to stress and being hyper anxious and having anxiety and its impact on the body and mind long term. Your burnout because you've been under loads of stress and you've had anxiety for a long time. And it could only be a few years. A few years is all it takes to get burnt out. A few years is, is a long time, to tell you the truth. This is only the beginning. This article, uh, this video, it's only the beginning. You know, this information can help you cut your stress by about 5%. You watch the resource page, you're talking about another 20%. You join me in the Stress Less Plus course, guess what? We're talking a 100-day plan to cut your stress in half. So start with that resource page. I want you to have less stress. You deserve it. You work hard. You don't know what you don't know. That's the scary part. I didn't know what I didn't know either until I started to research this. And so if you would like to take 30 years to figure this out like I did, do it. Do something. But I'm here to help you. That's what this resource page is for. If you're inclined, which I think everybody should be inclined to join me in the Stress Less Plus course, I am ecstatic you're here. I'm thankful that you finished this video. You have a deeper understanding about all this stuff now. And it's hard to not remember or unremember the idea that you're doing stress to yourself because you are. I want you to have a different perspective on your life, on your beliefs, and on stress. That's what I'm here for. And my mission is to assist attorneys into living balanced, happy lives. Be well. I look forward to training you more on that resource page and everything else that I'm doing. Have a great one and see you on the other side.